hello friends hope you are doing well and uh, in this demonstration i will talk about uh, what are the azure red groups and how we can create the groups and uh, other component of the group and features so overall management uh, we will learn in this video so stay tuned so I have logged on to the Azure portal and uh, here we have to go to the Azure Active Directory and uh, under manage we will select groups. So I have already some of the groups which are created and uh, here you can see the name, object, ID and uh, uh, group type, membership and uh, emails. So so the groups are something uh, made easy uh, to manage the users uh, like if we have any applications uh, and we want to allow the access to that application uh, for a specific or a bunch of users so we can create a group and add the members so this uh, make a easy job for us so later on uh, if we need more people to be added uh, to access the application uh, simply we can add uh, as much users as we want so let's discuss about this so this is on the console we can see the new group so we can create the new group here and uh, before that let's check what are the tabs we have so here you can see the download groups so all the dump of the groups we can download from here this is the refresh button and uh, this is manage view so we can add it and add the columns okay like uh, if i add the expire set uh, save it so this will appear here so any information or the when the group will expire and that information will be listed down over here so sim simply if we need any field uh, related to the groups we can go and uh, add to the columns and here we have the delete options available so we can delete the group you can see there is a Microsoft 365 this was a group which I created and these groups we cannot delete because these are coming from uh, uh, the Azure AD sync so by default um, the option is grayed out and this group was created by me or manual creation so we can modify we can delete the group yes here from here left hand side if we see we have the deleted groups and uh, some general settings expiration naming policies and in activities so you can see uh, the privilege access groups uh, access review auditing and bulk operation result whether this was success or pass so we will learn more about uh, all these options later so let's go back to the groups and uh, try to create a new group so here we can see uh, two types of group we have security and Microsoft 365 we have one more that is dynamic so I have not added any license uh, yet for the Azure Active Directory that's the reason that is not appearing so uh, that is uh, that will be a separate topic uh, how to create the dynamic groups so let's focus on this uh, security uh, so this is mandatory field so what group type you want and uh, group name we have to give so teams channel I am creating this mm, teams channel so this is up to you whether you want to give any description or not you can describe i'm just giving the same name so member type again this is grayed out so we can add the members as dynamically as well 
but since I do not have license so uh, that option is grayed out yes owners we can add who will be the owner of this group so I'm selecting the user condition R is the owner of this group we can select the members as well so how many members you want to add search them and select so like TNS admin they will be member of this group let's go ahead and create okay and the group is created let's refresh it and now we will check teams channel what is the properties so on the dashboard itself we can see uh, the membership type that is assigned and what is the source this is the cloud and uh, the type of the group that is security and this is object object ID so this is unique ID and when the group was created and here how many members are there of this group and group membership as well and who is the owner and total members so this information we can see on the dashboard itself and if we look at the properties we can again remodify if there's anything to modify or we want to uh, give any description or uh, uh, we want to change the name of the group here we can see the group uh, members we want to add more members into the group select add members and select user and then submit and here all the members these are the direct members and all members so who is the owner and if there is any role which is assigned directly to this group there is no role assigned to this group that's why it's not there administrative units we will talk later about this and group membership so for if you want to make members this group to other groups we can select any others group like this member this group will be member of teams group so this is added if we refresh we have the notification here and that is successfully done okay next is applications so if there is this group is assigned to an any application for access purpose that application will be listed here so we will talk more how to assign the group to the application later and this is license and azure and these are some simple activity logs access reviews auditing and uh, bulk operations so what and when was done this is the uh, auditing for this group so we can see here add members to the group when it this activity was performed so this way we can manage the groups and uh, in the next video we will discuss more how to manage the groups through uh, the CLI and other mediums so stay tuned and thanks for watching